it's for the girls like i love this she ate okay like tell me tell me she hi you guys welcome back to another day or week of the vlog i don't know where i'm at anymore i never know where i'm at anymore listen i'll just be filming okay that's what I, all i worry about is get the content get the content get the content but um yeah um so today we are at the whole food market um i needed some vitamins because just because like i already take most of my daily vitamins i take what do i take in the morning i take um my b12 my iron supplement my um daily woman vitamins i take um there's another one there's two oh my ashwagandha and i forgot there's one more i take but anyway, just know that your girl getting her vitamins in. Like, we, 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 we keeping up with it, right? So, I needed two more. Is it two more? I made a list. Y'all already know. One thing about me, I have to make a list before I come to a store because I'm the type of person, like, I'm the type of consumer. Like, I'm the type of customer that you could easily persuade to buy stuff <laughs> and i hate that for me like i really do because i'll walk into a store and you know how okay so what i learned when i was in um business marketing school is when i was going for my business marketing degree what i learned is i don't know if it's common knowledge but what i learned is like um stores they put the thing that they want you to buy, they throw it in your face. So when you walk into the store, like the first things you see, it's supposed to be the thing that gravitates the customers and make them want to buy. And fortunately, I'm that type of customer. I'll walk in and I'll see like a whole bunch of stuff. I'm like, oh, that look good. I should try it. I'm like, oh, damn, that look good. So in order for me not to buy, I keep a list okay they're not giving me no more so i walk in i have my list and i know exactly what i want so therefore i just walk and go to the aisle that i want where i find the aisle that i want and i make my purchases i do not linger around anymore like i used to i used to walk around the store go to aisles out aisle of aisle to see what's new what i want no and then i walk out I walk out of the store with a whole bunch of stuff that I'm probably never going to eat. I'm probably never going to try. I'm probably never going to use. Um, and then spend a whole lot of unnecessary money. And then I'd be like, at the end of the month, I'd be like, dang, where all my money went? Girl, you was just in that store acting like you a drug dealer. Like, you was in that store spending money like a drug dealer. Like, what do you mean where your money went? Down the drain, girl. So, they don't get me no more, is what I'm trying to say. They don't get me anymore. I have my list. So, again, I will have my list. Um, I'll have my list on the screen so you guys know exactly what I'm going for. But let me just run down with just a little bit. I'm looking for sea moss. I want something for energy. And um, I want castor oil, fish oil, all that good stuff, right? Um, hold on. Oh, sea moss because I never tried it before but I heard it's really good and it have like I forgot how many minerals in it that it's really good for you I want to try it I feel like I'm gonna hate it but I'm gonna give it a try because I just I, I just uh I could taste it like I have never tried it before but I could just taste it and I'm like Ugh. but I'm gonna I'm going to try it. I'm gonna try it I'm gonna finish the bottle I may not buy another bottle but I'm gonna finish the bottle that I buy and then um I just want something for energy because I feel like my energy has been a little low sometimes. And then, um, yeah. And I know I be having this hat on since the last, I mean, not this hat, but this headband. I've been having the same headband on since the last a week. I know, y'all, but listen, I'm in between styles right now. This is not glued to my hair because every time I glue my wigs on, I work out 
every day like I'm doing this 70, 75 hard challenge and I work out every day and every time I glue my hair it lasts for like two days and then I'm back to like you know just having to reapply my wig so I'm not doing that no more I was just like you know what I'm gonna wear what it had been on and I'm gonna wait because I have a braiding appointment a braiding appointment um I'm getting boho braids um extra long why well, not extra long just long um because i feel like extra long is like knee length that's when you say extra long i think of like 40 inches you know what i mean 30 inches is not it's not long <laughs> but um yeah so i'm getting long boho braids small but yeah so i'm just in between styles and i don't want to glue my hair down because there's no point like i'm literally working out every day i'm sweating so there's no point to just always gluing it down gluing it down and then like for what you know risking my edges gone because the way you know but anyways um we about to go into the whole food store I just left um, I just left the Whole Food and honestly <laughs> the Whole Foods kind of crazy like I'm not gonna lie look I usually get ashwagandha from Walmart it's ten dollars at Walmart they was charging thirty two dollars in here and I was like oh no baby I understand it's organic or whatever because they were like saying in the bottle on the bottle it was saying organic ashwagandha I'm guessing that makes a difference, but I'll stick to Walmart. Um, I only got two things. I didn't get the sea moss. I did see it, but I wanted the gel form. They only have the um, the gummies in ashwagandha. I mean, the gummies in sea moss, and I don't want the gummies. I want the gel. So I'm gonna have to order it from. I'm gonna have to order it from Amazon, which I didn't want to, but I'm going to have to. Okay, so I got this. This right here. This right here is Once Daily Woman. It's like, girls, like, let me tell y'all now. This right here, it's expensive. It's like, I think it was like $32. Where's my receipt? Dang, I didn't take my receipt. I didn't take my receipt. But yeah, it's like $30. I want to say between $30 to $32. But babes, it is so worth it. You, you probably could get it cheaper somewhere else. I don't know. But it is like 
it's for the girls like if you want down there to have no odor and to like be in the best health ever I love this this right here is probably one of like three of vitamins that I will spend hella bread on because I'm telling you like this right here y'all it keeps the kitty cat fresh clean no smell I love this right here it's like for vaginal it's for vaginal digestive and immune system and it's 16 probiotic um, strains it is so good like get this y'all and remember I told y'all I need something for energy I could get this at, Walmart, at Target uh, I went to Target the other day and I honestly just I could have got this at Target like I didn't need to get it today I'm gonna take one now but I feel like the Whole food is just like overpriced. I could have got this at Target. So many two things I got. I was supposed to get hella more, but they didn't have what I wanted. Let me see. What else did I was supposed to get? I was supposed to get castor oil. Honestly, I didn't even remember to get the castor oil. But it's okay because I have it in my shopping cart on Amazon already, so I'll just order it. And then fish oil. I was supposed to get fish oil, but the ones that they were having, like I said, was like taxing. They were talking about thirty something plus for fish oil. Like I understand it because the the box were saying it's wild caught fish, cold water. Fish. Like, I, babe, just give me the fish oil. Like, please. I probably get it from Amazon since I'm gonna be ordering castor oil from Amazon. I'm probably gonna get the fish oil from Amazon as well. And then I didn't get the um, sea moss because I don't want the gel. I want. I mean, I don't want the gummies. I want the gel. So yeah. But anyways, that's it, y'all. I'm going home. I don't have no homework to go do. I'm so happy about that. I finished my homework early this week and I'm just, I feel peaceful. I'm gonna go cook. I'm gonna go have a good time. I'm gonna go relax. Probably watch a little Grey's Anatomy. I started Grey's Anatomy from the beginning. So I'm re-watching it again and oh my God, it feels so new. It feels like I've never watched it before. Like I'm literally glued to the TV every time I'm watching it as if it's the first time I watched it. Um, so I'm probably gonna go home I would say I would drink a bottle of wine, not a whole bottle, but I would get a glass of wine, I should say, but I'm doing 75 hard, and one of the things that I can't do is drink alcohol, so no glass of wine for me, but it's okay. I should have went to Aldi's because I wanted some kombuchas, but it's fine, but yeah. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another day of the vlog. Um, welcome back to another day of the vlog. So today, y'all, um, I'm on my way to get my hair done. I am so happy. I know it might not look or sound like I'm happy, but I'm telling you, I am ecstatic. Um, the only problem is, two problems, y'all. One, I woke up super late. I woke up super late this morning. Um, I was supposed to be there. My appointment was at 10. It's 10 19 and I'm still on the road and I'm like 30 minutes away and then also the GPS made me take the longest way possible but it's my fault because I I know how to get there right I thought there was a shortcut so I'm like damn let me put the GPS on because I was late I was like let me see if there's a shorter way to get there that I don't know about child I literally like put the GPS on and it it ruined me like it made me go the longest way possible and I'm like wow it it added like I was a good 20 minutes to my drive and I'm just like are you serious like that kind of pissed me off so anyways my point is I'm late I 
text her. She said it's okay. Thank goodness she's not one of those hairstylists that be canceling you or adding like, you know, more to your time or more to your money, I should say, because you're late. So I'm going there now. Um, I feel bad though because it's like, dang. And I just messaged her yesterday because I didn't want no hey boo text. I messaged her yesterday. I was like, hey, are we still on for tomorrow? Because I really needed my hair done. And she was like, yes, I'll see you when you get here. And then I'm late. Hey, y'all. Do you notice anything different? Do you, do you notice anything different? Do you notice anything different? Like... Do you notice anything different? I got my hair done. <laughs> I am so happy. I'm ecstatic. Like, oh my goodness. I got my hair done, y'all. Like, I've been riding around with that um wig and head bonnet for way too long. Like, I'm not doing that again. Like, next time, I'm going to take my hair out, like, within, like, two days max of my appointment. Because I took my hair out three weeks before my appointment. And I was just riding around looking crazy every single day. Okay? But I'm not doing that no more. But anyways, <laughs> I got my hair done. Who's this? Do, do I know you? Uh, okay. <laughs> Who? Because what? Got my hair done. Stop playing. Hold on. Let me get y'all a view. How long? Like, what? I got my hair done. Like, stop playing with me. I don't know you. New hair, who this? But yeah. I got my hair done, y'all. I am so happy. Like, I finally got my hair done. I've been way overdue for a hairstyle. Like, I got my hair done, like, uh, can we get a little commotion for the, for the braids? Can we get a little commotion for the braids? Clock it, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy that I got my hair done, like, it just, it makes me feel so much better. I think I'm gonna do my lashes, but I'm gonna do my lashes myself. I'm gonna put on some clustered um, lashes. I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow, not today, though, because I am about to go edit um, last week vlog to post No, I'm gonna I'm about to go edit this week vlog to post tomorrow for you guys So I won't have time to do it today But Like I just had to come on here And show you guys how my hairstyle is eight down Like hmm. She ate down like she understood the assignment She, she did what needed to be done And then some like Yo, she did not come to play. She did not come to play. She did not come to play. She ate. I love my hair, y'all. Like, I love my hair. I went to church today, and I was just getting so much compliments on my hair because it was just like, yes. Like, y'all know, y'all know she ate. Like, stop playing. Like, stop playing. She ate. Okay? Like, tell me. Tell me she did. Hey, y'all. So, it's the same day. Um, I decided to stop editing and I came to the park so I could get my walk in for the day. Yeah, I know I'm trying to do this like 30 minutes active a day thing. So I'm trying to get my walk in for the day. The sun is setting. It's the evening. I got tired of being in the house. Like I'm, I'm starting to really hate being in the house all day. Like I'm starting to hate that. That's crazy, right? Because... I used to love being in the house all day, but now I'm feeling like I need fresh air. Like I need to go on a walk. I need to be outside for at least 30 minutes. Like I need fresh air. That's crazy. And I used to never be like that. I used to be the type of person that like hates being outside. Hate it. There's no AC. I didn't want to be there. Now look at me. <sighs> Craving to be outside. But anyways. Um, I decided to come for a walk and um, get my little 30 minutes workout because I told y'all that time I went to McDonald's in the morning does not count. I'm still doing the 75 hard challenge. I had to wrap my hair up, 
because y'all know I just got it done yesterday and you gotta protect the braids, protect the braids. Yes, protect the braids, girl. So, yeah, on our first round, I think I'm gonna walk more. I'm sorry. I think I'm gonna run more this time. I'm trying to run twice, walk once. I think I'm gonna go ahead, y'all, and stop eating bread for at least 30 minutes. 30 minutes. <laughs> For at least 30 days i think i'm gonna stop eating bread because i think bread is becoming my downfall like i changed my diet up but i love me some good bread i love a toast i love a french toast i love a breakfast sandwich i just love bread right so i decided that i am going to be giving bread some a break because i honestly feel like bread is becoming my downfall like i feel puff and i feel bloated and i think it's because i eat so much bread so i think i'm gonna give bread a break for at least 30 days hi you guys welcome back to another day of the vlog so good morning by the way um i i have a kind of busy day ahead of me i have to um as y'all know, I'm in school, so I have, an, I have an assignment that's due today, but the assignment is um, it's for my advanced um, assessment class. Hold on, y'all. Let me put this on a little. Okay. So it's for my advanced um, assessment help. Advanced health assessment, yeah. It's for my advanced health assessment class. Um, I have to submit a video of me doing the respiratory assessment. So I'm going to go over to my sister house to go ahead and record myself doing the assessment on her. And then um, I also have to get something to eat because I literally... I Look, okay. I thought I was off tomorrow. Like, I thought I was off tomorrow. I don't know why I thought that, but I really thought I was off tomorrow. Like, I could have sworn I looked at the schedule and it said I was off tomorrow. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But something been telling me since yesterday, like, girl, check your schedule. Check your schedule. I checked my schedule and I'm not off tomorrow. So, I'm off today, though. But I thought I was off tomorrow, too. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, I could divide my task into two days no i could not because i go to work tomorrow so basically everything that i thought i was going to do tomorrow i have to do today so i am kind of on a time crunch so i'm gonna go get me some things to eat because i i need energy i'm going to um go to my sister house and get my assessment done and then i'm gonna go to um the grocery store so i could get something to meal prep i don't need much i'm mostly need breakfast stuff because i'm a breakfast girl like i love eating breakfast so my breakfast tends to finish much faster than dinner um i have the meat defrosting um now before i left i took the meat out so by the time i get home it'll be defrost and i could cook it so I'm good for dinner, for mostly dinner stuff. And then um, I'm planning on going to two different grocery stores, though. But I don't know if I'm going to go to Trader Joe's because one of the stores that I want to go to is Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is so out of my way. And the only thing that I mostly want to go to Trader, jo Trader Joe's for is breakfast stuff. Like I feel like Trader Joe's have a lot of variety of breakfast things that I like. So I kind of want to go there. But... I don't know if I'm willing to make that drive. Y'all know how I feel. Like, if it's too far, I might not go. Like, let's just be honest. Like, I don't know. But, um, I might go to Trey Joe's. I don't know. But I want to go to Aldi's. Because I feel like Aldi's got the best selection of kombuchas. And I want some kombuchas. And then, of course, Walmart. Like, I'm always at Walmart. And I hate that for me. One day, I'm going to stop shopping at Walmart. Like, honestly. Uh, it's ghetto over there sorry walmart but it is it really is it's ghetto over there <laughs> but um 
yeah, so I don't know. Maybe maybe I go Trey Joe's, maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll see. And then I gotta come home and I have to clean. I have to clean the bathroom. I have to clean certain areas of the house. And then I have to um, meal prep. So I have to do so much in one day. I thought I was going to be able to divide that, like, my task within two days. But I'm just happy I checked my schedule and I listened to myself and I checked my schedule. Because, y'all, I really was not going to show up to work tomorrow. Like, I really was not. Because in my head, in my mind, I'm off tomorrow. Like... I really thought I was not going to have to go to work, but it is what it is. I'm glad I checked because they was going to call me like, hello, um, are you coming in? I'd have been like, no. <laughs> Why would I? <laughs> but, um, yeah, and then as far as work, y'all, um, I think I'm going to be able to quit my other job, my PR job, because I signed a contract with my work, with my job. So, basically, they have, like, you know, seasons coming, so... Um, the intensive they're they are paying season is coming so they started a contract and basically like um, you have to work X amount of days and then you get um, an intense intensive incentive now I can't say the word but yeah you get more money basically <laughs> for working if you like and you have to sign a contract saying like yeah i'm gonna work x amount of hours per per pay period and then you get like extra you get like time and a half you get a whole bunch of things I don't clock my pockets but <laughs> i'm about to go now y'all um yeah I don't know. I feel like it's going to be a busy day. And I really thought this Sunday was going to be a slow day for me. Like, I was I was banking on it. I, like, scheduled myself. I spread my task. And I was just like, okay, tomorrow's going to be well, yesterday when I was making my um, schedule. I was like, today's going to be a chill day. I'm just going to, like, relax. I'm going to do a couple things. But no. Whatever. I guess that's, that's, that's part of being an adult. <sighs> Being an adult is so ghetto. Like, take me back to the days where I didn't have to worry about anything but school, getting up and going to school. Like, take me back to the days when I was just a kid living with my parents. Like, I didn't have to worry about bills. Like, take me back to those days. Like, I would never say, I can't wait until I'm grown. Gosh, shut your mouth. Be quiet. Be quiet. Shh. Sip it. Shh. Hush. Stay that stupid thing around here. <laughs> Girl. Like, for real. Like, I would not make that comment ever again. Like, oh, I can't wait until I'm grown. I just wish I could go. I wish I just wish I could go back and punch myself in the face for saying that. Like, I can't wait until I'm grown. I just wanna bop. Like be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I'm about to go. See ya. How are you guys? So I am at Dickings Sporting Goods. Ask me how did I get here? I don't know. Um, originally I had no plans of coming to the store, but when I went to my sister's house to do the, um, to do the assessment, she was like, yeah, I'm going to go to Dickens Sporting Goods and I'm going to go do this, I'm going to go do that. And I was like, oh, I want to come. Now I'm here. So, um, so now I'm at Dickens Sporting Goods, just shopping. I love spontaneous stuff. Uh, I live for it. Right, me? Spontaneous. Live your life. Just get up and do stuff. Right, me? Say hi to the camera. We haven't seen your pretty face in so long. Now you see my pretty face? I don't want to see it that close. <laughs> oh my god, me. But yeah, be spontaneous. Y'all, look at my nephew. Look at how tall my nephew is. Come show them how tall you are. <laughs> 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 
Go ahead. You see? That's crazy. And guess how guess how old he is, y'all. Guess how old he is. I'm gonna let y'all guess in the comments how old y'all think he is. Because how are Can you I guess? <laughs> You're the mother. <laughs> y'all. He is so too young to be that tall. Oh, I wanted some Crocs. Hold on, Ben. I've been wanting some Crocs for work real bad. Look at all these options of Crocs. Oh, Croc City. Sometimes 32. Is this is higher or cheaper? Amazon is cheaper. This is 50, yeah. Oh, you said it's cheaper. Yeah, no, I'm not sure. Well, you get this. See, the one I want is 34. Look, y'all. You see the price right here? It's $34.99 um, on Amazon. Look at the price here. Yeah. What the what the TikTok said? Yeah, let's go on and get the, out of Lulu. Yeah, I'll say $15. $15 is a big difference. I know. Oh, this lighting is so cute. Let me put my chastic on. <laughs> school. Yeah, why can't you wear the school? You can't wear that for school. Alright y'all, I'll talk to y'all when I get up out of here. Um, I don't know where we're going to go to next, but I do know I want to go to Trader Joe's, so that's on the list. But I'll talk to you guys when we get out of here. Chicken dip with fall leaf chips so it's really great. What is it? Chicken ranch, chicken dip with fall leaf chips. Very good. Chicken dip, chicken ranch, really good. Fall leaf chips. Is it bacon? Bacon. Like pork bacon? Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't eat pork <laughs> Put that back. Don't even think about that. So we went to Trader Joe's already, and I got like five, ten things at most. And now we're at Ross. My sister is going on a trip, and she just needs to get like some last-minute things. Must be nice to be going on a trip, me. Your guts are looking for the whatever the sport thing. He's not going on a trip too. Oh yeah, my godson going on a trip, but he's going on a separate trip. He's going on a college tour since he's graduating this year. He's a senior, so he's going on a college tour trip. Must be nice. Must be nice. But yeah. Where are Ross? I'm just walking around behind him at this point. I kind of want to go to Best Buy. Best Buy is down, like a few stores down. I kind of want to go to Best Buy so I can look at cameras. I'm thinking about getting a new camera. I'm not sure. It's just a thought for now. I'm going to look at this one specific camera that I've been looking at online. And <laughs> she's saying no because she don't want me to get it. 
but um, I've been looking at this camera online for the longest and I want to see if it's like as impressive as I think it's going to be so I want to go look at it at Best Buy and then after that and um, and then I go back home and then that's it for me